This is it, guys. I'm going to be telling the truth because I'm done with the false information going around. Siwat and Grox keep saying I'm the one who killed the creator SMP. Well, no. It's time for you all to know the real truth because it wasn't me. Not entirely. Maybe it was like 5% me, but it really wasn't me. To give a quick recap because it's been some time, the creator SMP was an SMP started with me, Grox, Siwat, and Joofy Luby. And the SMP had some great times. What was that? Wait. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. All right, on three. Uh, oh yeah, he gave it too. No! Oh! oh. <laughs> we found a villager named Malik that did some cool stuff. Okay, oh. I think he's. Oh! Oh! oh. Malik! Oh! Malik. Wait, maybe he, maybe the villager will tell us how it's pronounced. Ma oh! oh. <laughs> we found a shrine that summoned some god figure that also did cool stuff. So, the first stream of the creator SMP was on July 6th, 2022. And then the second stream was on July 14th, 2022. And then the creator SMP was never seen or heard of again. But I'm here to say that it wasn't my fault. At least, not entirely. First person I'm blaming is this guy. Here's why I'm saying it's Grox's fault. Grox just finished uploading a video called Speedrunning Minecraft But I Enslave Villagers on June 3rd, 2022, so about a month before the first episode of the Creator SMP. However, he had started working on his next video, and after the second stream of the SMP, Grox said, word for word, I kid you not, he said, I don't want to stream until I upload my- actually wait, let me see if I can say this like Grox. Yo, bro, I don't know if I want to stream until I upload my new video. All right, that's, that's my best Grox impression right there. Uh, so I was like, all right, that's a fair point. Should be coming out sooner than later. Uh, and then wait, when did he upload? Oh, eight months later. All right, well, now you guys know the real truth. Definitely at least like 85, 86% Grox's fault, but that's just my take on it. All right, so then we have Joofy. And Joofy, let's see, I don't think Joofy played too much of a role in why the creator SMP died. I just know he kind of started to get really busy with other stuff, so I think he moved away from YouTube stuff in general. But I guess that was another minor factor that contributed to the whole thing in general. Alright, then there was me, who allegedly killed the whole thing by myself. And I would say objectively I played some part in it, but not the whole thing. So, after the first couple streams, I basically wasn't in love with the concept of the SMP, and I also wasn't exactly sure I wanted to jump into streaming a whole lot because I was prioritized on YouTube. So, those are two different worlds, and I didn't really know how to jump into the streaming scene. And both of those factors played some part in me being sort of out of it. I didn't have the schedule really to stream all the time, so that didn't help our situation. So, that was kind of my reasoning. So, yeah, I would say I played at least 10%. And lastly, there was Siwat, who blames me for the whole thing. And as much as I'd like to blame him, I have to give him some credit. I don't really think he did anything to kill the SMP, but I also don't think he was too eager to stream either. So... I guess the main point of the story is it's safe to say all of us played a role in the downfall of the creator SMP. Uh, will it ever return? Probably not. I guess that's all. Now you guys know the truth. Let's just say 90% Grox's fault and then maybe like a 3.33% split for the other remaining three. So that's what I have for today. Bye.